praise and you feel. He's that. Come on, y'all can do better. Isn't he excellent? Amen. Thank you. Tabor Choir, thank you for that selection on this Sunday. If you can, church and indeed, if you will, just for a few moments, just for a little while, we're going to ask you please to turn your Bibles, your phone application Bibles, or the back of your pericope, and we, we will be looking at the second lesson coming from the book of James, chapter 2, verses 1 through 5, 8 through 10, and 14 through 18. And when you have it, just say, I have it. Not too many people say it. Come on now. Look, I know y'all going through some stuff. I know y'all going through some death. I know y'all going through some pain. But shouldn't we still be able to lift the Lord up, Sister Mel? I mean, I wouldn't want to be without God when I'm going through death, huh? Better be glad you have him. When you have to say, I have him. Man. And again, Mr. Tim, we're looking at James chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. 8 through 10 and 14 through 18. And if you look at the box towards the bottom of church, we will find the core verse. So you can underline this for your notes. I see people with pen stuff. You can underline this for the core today. It says, So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I, by my works, will show you my faith. I, by my works, will show you my faith. So from that today, just for a few moments, church, what I would just like to prescribe to you in this spiritual hospital is it works for me. It works for me. Look at your name and say name. It works for me. CT Church, even though the words I just said, even though the words you and I speak, Brother Land, are powerful, even though the words are impressionable, Cassie, oftentimes they are just not enough for people to see, Sister Sheila, who you really are. In other words, church, people want to see some actions behind your words, Brother Joe. Have you seen some actions that, 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 that we see in people? If you're a voter, if you're going to vote, for the election, voters want to see action from the elected office. Some of y'all with me on that, huh? Y'all just don't want to hear them talk. You want, want to see some action from the president, action from your counselor. You want to see uh, Alderman Brown in her office, or Alderman Jackson in her office just one time. Voters want to see action. If you're a parent, how many parents do we have in the house? Now, it's good. Miss Jackson brought the little baby. Now, she's a parent to her. But the parents, they want to see some action. That's what Miss Edwards was saying from the kids, huh? Hey, hey, if they're a student, they, 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 don't you all wish 
Y'all had a student just like little Tiana right there, all A's and, and just beautiful everywhere, A's everywhere. She's not just saying she's going to make good grades. She's what? She's doing it. The girl got more money out of me. She should be a millionaire by the college, man. Parents, Sister Beverly, they, 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 they want to see. They want to see some action from the, from the kids. If you're a boss or, or, or if you're a big time supervisor like Sister Daryl back there and Minister Tim, they want to see some action from their employees, huh? They, they, they want you to, 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 to perform at work. They, they, they want you to get the job done. For you football fans, Brother Ronald going back to Minnesota, but you got to know he's a Bear fan. And you all know Bear fans want to see some action from the Bears, but good luck on that one. Because the way they played last week, Sister Spider, they ain't going to show nothing. But still at all, football fans want some action. But now I'm here to tell you, church, that you better believe God. You better believe the Lord. You better believe Christ wants to see in the same manner some action from his children. Look at your name and say name. He wants to see some action from you. Come on, help me preach this thing. Why? Why? Because your actions, Sister Gloria, will always speak louder than your words. Come on, James. Help me do this. Hey, hey, your actions are, are, are the things that we do your actions are, 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 are the things that other people can see. Your actions help to support your faith. Oh, y'all didn't know that, huh? So, so, so in other words, your actions, my actions, all of our actions, what we do, are your works. In other words, if, if, if we say that we will trust in the Lord. Does anybody have trust in the Lord? Well, y'all just heard the choir say how excellent he is, but does anybody know how excellent he is? I know you do, Tamar. But, but, but if you say that he's excellent, if you, if you trust in the Lord, if you say that you believe in the Lord, see, that's why if you come in here and, and you're undergoing death and people have died, and if they haven't, just keep on living. Somebody's going to pass away. But, but if you sit there and don't, don't still don't have faith in God, then your actions are not showing your faith. But if we trust in the Lord, if, if we believe in the Lord, if we say we have faith in the Lord, your works should be able to back that faith up. We should say, along with my faith, or along with my trust. It works for me. We should say, I, by my works, you, by your works, will show your faith. It, it, it's, it's works. It, 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 it's works for you. See, because one thing you just got to know, I want you to underline this point. This is Brother Edwards, one of his favorite, favorite scriptures. Your faith without works, come on, somebody's right there with me. It's what is dead. Ask your neighbor, are you dead? Are you dead? Now see, if they couldn't, you couldn't ask them that, then we need to call 911 right now. I'm looking around, I don't see any dead folks. I see some people that who are alive. I see some people who are alive in their faith. I see some people who are alive in the spirit. Is anybody in here going to be alive in the spirit of the Lord? It's works. It's works. Works substantiate your faith. And we need to know that the works not only substantiate your faith, church, but works will show faith. Are oh, you didn't know people can see your faith by the kind of work that you, you and I do? All right, well, I want y'all to take it from me then. Don't take it from me. That's okay. So let's look at James. 
James here, and, and Minister Tim told us on last Sunday, he, 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 he's trying to tell us, Sister Foster, that we need to be doers of the word. Stop doing you and do God. He, he laid that thing out. So, so let's continue to look at this thing. James, who, whose name also means Jacob here, describes himself, Brother Speedy, Brother Chase, as a servant of the Lord. See, see, if you really want to show your works, if, if, you, if it's really works for you, you and I have to think of ourselves as a servant for the Lord. Uh, can you just imagine, church, how this world would be if we all were considered ourselves servants of Jesus? Y'all know we wouldn't have that many problems in our communities, huh? Y'all know we wouldn't have too many tough times if we just considered our service, uh, ourselves servants of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus tried to help man. And when we serve people, we try to help somebody else. James here, James here, he, even though he, he speaks with authority to when he does not want to get too personal with you. See, he doesn't, he, he's not going to speak on any personal experience. I want you to go back and read the book of James. He's not going to speak on any personal things that, that he's gone through. He, he's not going to talk about any news somebody has brought to him. He, he doesn't begin his letter here with any kind of greeting. He, he, he doesn't close with any kind of formalities right here. He doesn't say farewell when he ends this book. In other words, he's trying to put some distance between people and his readers. And don't y'all know sometimes when you are trying to do good works, we have to put distance between some people. Or have you, have you had to put some distance between some people lately, huh? Hey, Miss Jones came to church and, and she said, hey, 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 I didn't like to do it, but I had to, 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 to put distance between some of my family members. Sometimes you're going to have to put some distance between you and your family. Hey, she said she said she she had the had, had the, like a pencil. She took an eraser and, and she had to erase them. She, she, she had to push the delete button on them, huh? And y'all know this is what we're telling say. It's not a good feeling when when you have to distance yourself from your family. That's why you as kids, you better be grateful for somebody that you got taking care of you and your family. Show some gratefulness. James here puts distance. And he had to cut some people out of his life. But, but, uh, but if you never had to do that, if you never had to put some, a little distance to, to, in order for you to get your thing going, just keep on living. See, 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 everybody you provide good works for is not going to accept what you do. You might have tried to wake somebody up in your family this morning to come to church and they looked at you like, like they wanted to kill you. Come on, y'all know y'all know it. But you can. See, 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 every time you try to do good works, uh, not all the people that you tell that to are going to believe in you. Not, not, not all the people that, that you try to do good works are going to serve the Lord. But for as me and my house, huh? Is anybody in there going to continue to serve the Lord? Hey, 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 when you serve them, I'm glad you all acknowledge that. Keep on serving. When death comes, keep serving. When pain comes, keep serving him. When hurt comes, keep serving him. Don't you know what I'm That's going to make it better for you, huh? Keep on serving. And when you serve the Lord, it shows that you're doing good works. Our church, it works for me. Put a little work 
in your life. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, keep serving the Lord to do good works. See, see, see. And don't be afraid to put distance between you and others that ain't on the same page as you. When you're doing good works, others might try to stop you, you see, from doing that good work. See, others are going to try to stop you from doing good deeds. Hey, 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 hey you better believe our, our young gentlemen are, are going through some things because anytime they try to do something good, you better believe there's going to be one of their peers out there to say, hey, man, you saw. See, being soft ain't doing good work. Being soft is to try to do the easy thing. Being soft is trying to pull the trigger. Does anybody in here know that trying to do the, the right thing is hard than doing the wrong? See, but, but, but when somebody comes at you like that, say, hey, I'm just going to keep doing my good works. You got to tell them, get behind me, Satan. Come on, have you ever said that lately, huh? Say about me. I don't care how you look at me. I am not going to stop telling you how good God has been to me. Does anybody else feel like that, huh? Come on. Four weeks ago, I was trying to slam dunk on speed. Ended up in a cast, Miss Foster. But hey, ain't God a healer right now? I'm standing up here without a cast. That's God. Don't stop, Brother Cortez. Doing good work. It works for me. It works for you. It works. That'll show your faith, James. Come on now. Hey, hey, hey. What, what is he trying to say? Okay. He's trying to say right here that, that sometimes, yes, we do have to put some distance from others so that we can do our good works. And when we do those good works, Adonis, that just shows others how much faith that we have. But what, what are some of the other works? That should be. I know sitting right there that I have to do good. Say, okay, I know I have to do good work. I know I have to do good things. I know I have to put distance between me and others. But what are things? What are works that show faith? Well, one of them is the obvious church. Keep coming to church. Oh, y'all didn't know that. Huh? Come on. You gotta keep coming. You want to do something good. You want to do a good work. If you want to show your faith, keep on coming to church. See, coming to church is a work that shows your faith. Look at your name and just say name. You show faith when you come to church. Uh, you, you gotta know that. You see, when you decide to step through that door downstairs, Brother Joe, despite how late you've been up, despite, and he stayed up late working last night, despite how, how, how late you stayed up watching TV, or despite how you didn't want to get up, when you step through that door, you and I show others in the community, you show others on your block, Miss Young, you show even others in your household that your work is to get in church today. Oh, Y'all didn't know that. Y'all show that, that you by coming here, you got some faith. So you wouldn't be here. I know, Miss Williams, you would not be here if you didn't have faith in God who built this house, huh? When you come to church. See, 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 see. People all the time will try to tell you, Brother Von say, they'll say, hey, I don't need to go to nobody's church. 
But you can just tell them today, oh yes you do. Because coming to, coming to church shows your faith. And a lot of people that don't come to church, a lot of people that overslept don't have any faith. But I know I got at least one person in here that has faith in the Lord today. Because you came. You came. You came. Keep on coming to church. It works for you. And I don't know about you. See, but, but when you come to church, and, and you know that's part of your works, when you get here, you don't want to stop working. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. When you get to church, see, see this is, okay, before y'all say, see, this is work right here that y'all doing. Y'all didn't know that, huh? Look at your neighbor and help me out the Say, neighbor. When you get to church, don't stop working. See, 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 see. Church, church, church. Just by you speaking that thing to somebody, don't you know you might have encouraged somebody and put a smile on somebody's face who was going through something? Hey, y'all know how grim you were looking at the beginning, but now you start to brighten up because that faith in you is making you happy. Don't you know you can be happy even when there's trouble, even when there's death in your life? Feel what I'm saying? More person. Keep on coming. Help somebody out. Don't stop when you get here work. See, see, when you go on your job tomorrow, you ain't gonna go to work and then go to sleep. Oh, y'all didn't know that. Some of y'all bosses let y'all sleep on the job. You, you ain't gonna stop there. Why would you stop in the same manner when you come to church? Stop working, huh? See, see, keep doing work in your church. Now, what kind of work in a church can you do? Some of y'all might sit there and say, hey, well, I ain't qualified to do nothing. But let me just tell you, God can use anybody he wants to, huh? If you got the wheel, you got the what? If he got the wheel, you got he got the what? Where there's a wheel, there's a way. Has he made a way for anybody lately, huh? Oh, I know it, Doc. You were the first one right there. Show good works in your church. How do I show it, minister? Well, look. Let's look at, at verse 15 here. Here's a good way. It says, if your brother, underline this thing. This is a good point. In showing your works, it works for me. If your brother or your sister is naked and lacking, Daily food. Have you seen some people that lack food, huh? Have you seen some, some people that are half naked in the streets, huh? If they're naked or lack food, and one of you says to them, go in peace and keep warm and eat your fill and try to make it on your own, and yet you do not supply their needs, what good is that? So one of the things you can do in your church, work to work in your church, is to try to help somebody else. Give them some clothes, give them some food. You can say a lot of things about my mom. But I can know one thing I can say about her. And Mama Brown can raise her hand because she knows this. Miss Ian had to often ask her, Miss Lowe, why are you walking around with your baggy stockings on? But here's the thing. See, sometimes when you want to help somebody else, sometimes your clothes will suffer. She used to buy suits, come on now, for a whole family. Tell her Miss Brown now. She used to buy suits for a whole family of five. I thought them cats looked like the Jackson Five after she spent all that money. And hey, when you're trying to help somebody else, sometimes you will neglect yourself. Are you helping somebody today? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, 
Are you helping anybody today? Look at the other name and say, neighbor. Have you helped anybody lately? Oh, helping somebody shows good works. Some of y'all might say, well, I ain't got this money to buy no clothes. I ain't got the money to feed nobody. We had, we had a couple weeks back a men's day, and, and on that Saturday, you better believe Brother Von Zay didn't ask for any donation, brought a pot of chili that would make your hair swim, huh? That feed somebody. Brother Father brought a chicken that, can, that, that looked like it could get up and do the clucky bird itself, huh? That feed somebody. That, 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 that's doing work in your church. But now just sing, just sing, just sing, just sing. You don't have the money to do that. Well, you can try to help somebody up the stairs, huh? Oh, come on, church. Now, I love it when, 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 when they bring this young in here and the whole family has to help her up. Don't you know they're doing good work by bringing her in this church? Now, I kind of wish that, 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 that the other family members would stay. Come on now. Don't just bring it as you be. Stay. But when they bring her up, or when I used to see Mr. Smith get brought up by his family, hey, hey, they were helping him out. If you can't buy anything, at least help somebody up the stairs. Works in the church, works in the church, works in the church. You, you, you can sing in the choir. Our oh, church, I love it when our choir sings, huh? Don't you know when you sing to God, you are just expressing all kind of joy that he has brought in your life through song. One person stood up when they were singing. This whole church should have been able to stand up to testify how excellent. Isn't he excellent? He's been good to me. Keep singing, choir. Yes. If you can't sing, if you can't help nobody up the stairs, at least smile sometimes. Look at your name and just smile. <laughs> just smile or just, just cheer somebody up. Y'all give my baby girl a Lexus a, a smile and a hug right now, huh? Y'all know she's the most but She got a church that loves her. She got a family that loves her. And if you don't give her a smile, you ain't doing the work. Keep telling y'all, man. You think your life is bad right now? Go to a hospital. Calling us. Calling us. It's work in your church. I just hope y'all don't get too tired of me calling you, huh? Call yesterday. I know some of y'all probably looked at the idea and hung up, but I was able to get a hold of some of y'all. But don't you just know a phone call can help somebody out? For y'all, y'all, my a text, a tweet, a, tw a Twitter, whatever you want to do, just say hi to somebody. Somebody who does end up in the hospital, Ms. Brown, go visit them in the hospital. Y'all better know if, if you ever make it to the hospital, the, 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 the ministers here, the low brothers, are going to come see you. Y'all didn't know that. Keep doing the work in your church. Verse 2 here, verse 2 here, shows us another thing. Look at it. How you act in church. If a person with a gold ring, y'all know what I mean by gold ring, bling bling or whatever, has a lot of money, thinks he's rich. But how many y'all know if you ain't rich in money, you still can be richer than the one with money? Come on, Miss Brown. Brian, I got to say, too, when we, when we did uh, go to the hospital and visit Brother Smith, we mentioned your name, and that cat just, just perked up. Miss Brown, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> she's 
sometimes when we, uh, a message from somebody else can help somebody out. But watch this. When, when a person with a gold ring and fine clothes come in to your church and then a poor person comes in and you say to that poor person I want you to stand up or I want you to sit at my feet hey if brother Ruff ever told anybody that he'd be fired so fast but you know David here we got some good options Miss Moore huh Hey, 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 hey. How are you going to treat somebody with money different than you treat somebody without them? Oh, come on, my church. See, in other words, what I'm trying to say, church, is that works in your church, when you're trying to do good works in the church, is anybody going to try to do some good works in their church, child? Well, when you do that, church, do not involve favoritism. Oh, Y'all didn't know that, huh? See, if you, if, you, if you really want to do some good works, we have to be able to treat everyone the same. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Treat everybody the same. See, see that's not too hard. See, if if President Obama were to come in here and, and, and with his uh, Escalade or kind of, what do you call that? His uh, entourage or whatever. Sure, we put him in the front seat. But you better believe Tabor always stressed that our young men who don't might not have as much money as the president or anybody else that comes in has a right to sit on the front seat as well. There's no favoritism. You see, you say, I don't care how a person spent. I don't care what they bring up. Treat that person good. Because one thing for sure, church, your money, I don't care how much money you have. Now this ain't to say that the Lord does not want you to be rich. Oh, y'all didn't know it. Oh, we got some millionaires right here. We got some up and coming millionaires right here. This ain't saying that he don't want you to be rich, but if you think your riches is an impregnable wall of defense that's going to get you to heaven, you better think again. It ain't. Hey, 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 hey. It's not good to treat the rich better than you would somebody poor. How much more in your church? Some of you all may have gone out last night. Don't know where you've been. That's not my business. But it's something. <laughs> Y'all don't know where I was either. But uh, some of the places, church, that you may have gone to, they have what's called a VIP section. Oh, some of y'all know that. What they do in that, Sister Evelyn, is that they might just rope off. They'll take a rope and they'll, they'll, they'll tie it from there to there and, and rope this part off of, of the place. And they might have up here gold chairs and, and they might have up here all kinds of foods and drinks. And they, they, they take better care of the people that are able. Every, now y'all know everybody cannot go into the VIP section. Oh, y'all didn't know that. Okay, well that's good. Y'all ain't been in other places then, huh? But, 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 but everybody can go to the VIP. Why? Because if you don't have the amount of cash that it takes to stay in there, they are not going to let you in. They're not going to treat you with good service. You will not be able to get in the VIP. But oh, Taylor, aren't you glad that your church doesn't treat you according to how much you have? See, the only VIP in here is G-O-D, huh? Come on now, somebody. See, the only ropes 
that we are concerned with. It's the belly of the ropes that help to support your Savior, huh? On the cross. And you better believe at the foot of the cross, everybody is equal. Come on, now y'all didn't know that. Now look at your neighbor and tell them, at the foot of the cross, everybody is equal. See, God loves all. Do I have any children of God in the house today, huh? See, God in this land loves all his children equally. And if God loves his children equally, if God loves people equally, if God has given everybody a second chance through Jesus, why shouldn't we? Do good works in your church. And when you do good works, don't show any favoritism. Well, what works should we show? Well, we know when we see James, he's saying that, that, that if you want to do good works, sometimes you've got to give yourself a distance from others. He, he's saying that if you want to really do good works, giving good advice to people can be good. Coming constantly to church is good works. Not showing favoritism while you are here is good works. Oh, somebody's good, huh? But now you know what the good works are. But how can you, how can I achieve and do these works in order that my faith shines as bright as that sun out there. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you do good works, your faith will shine. Hey, well, well, how can I do these good works? How can I let others see my faith? See, you, can, you and I can just talk all day and say, I got faith, I got faith, I got faith. But if people aren't seeing that in your works, your talking is in vain. Huh? So how can, I, how can I see that? How can I show others my faith? How can the works I do show others? Well, if you really want to see my faith, if, if, if faith works for you, Let's look at verse 14 to answer this question. James is asking. He says, right there, look down on it. He says, what good is it, my brothers and my sisters, if you say you have faith, but do not have works. In other words, Taylor, if you really want to know how we can do good works, all you have to do is just remember this one thing. Y'all ready for it? Come on, anybody ready for it? If you really want to know how we can do good works, just remember this one thing. If you're going to talk the talk. Come on, somebody's going to that. You better walk the walk. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you're going to talk the talk, you better be able to walk the walk. In other words, church, this last point here is that, 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 that if, if, don't say something if you're not going to do it. Amen. Come on now, I got one amen. Don't say something if you're not going to do it. See, I'm glad Brother Bonze brought up the Chicago public school system. Um, I'm just glad, just as he is, that they got back in school. Are you glad about that, church? Anybody else glad about that? Come on, I know you are. These kids have been out too long, and, and I hope while they're out, if any of your kids were in the public school system, you at least made them read a book from time to time. Did anybody do that? 
Amen. What amen? That's good. But if you look at the Chicago public school system and the administration, they resumed classes on last week. Now, if you look at this thing, both sides said, now this is what they said. We're relating this to the verse right here. This is what they say. They say that they both want the best for our kids. Y'all heard it, huh? They, they say they want the best for our students. They, they say the students' best interest is first on their agenda. But watch this. But when I saw the agenda. I look, take a look at that thing. When I saw it this morning, there was a line item for pay raises. That's natural. They deserve a raise, don't they? Sure, yeah. Somebody said, amen, amen. They do. That's right. Like Tim said, I got to agree with them on this. Kids have been pushed up from kindergarten to, to high school without reading on how to read. And now all of a sudden in high school, you they, they got to perform at a certain level when they couldn't do it down here and the teachers are playing. But, 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 but raises were on the agenda. Healthcare church was on their agenda. Classroom size, Ms. Lance, was on, Brother James. The agenda. Classroom time was on the agenda. But I look at the agenda with all of those things. But I didn't see any line items for putting prayer. Come on now. Treat anybody else? 
up. His good work up. Has in God been good works? Has in God been doing good works for you today, huh? He healed you. That's his good works. He gave you a blessing. That's good works, huh? You got breath in your lungs. Huh? That's good works, huh? Is anybody here ready to really thank him, huh? For all the good works, huh? If you want to thank him, despite your pain, huh? Get up right now, huh? If you want to thank him, despite death in your family, huh? Get up and give him a hand clap right now, huh? Your praise, you're working right now. Come on, hey, keep working. You're working right now, huh? Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Go to work right now, huh? Did Jesus go to work for you, huh? Did Jesus uh, bring you out of a tough situation today, huh? Did Jesus uh, put the clothes on your back right now, huh? Did Jesus uh, put a meal in your belly right now? Should we uh, feed somebody else, huh? Should we uh, give somebody else good advice right now, huh? If you believe, huh? You can do it, huh? Do the Lord, huh? Say, yeah. I'm going to keep on working, huh? Say, yeah. I'm going to keep on praising right now, huh? Say, yeah. Despite my pain, huh? Despite my problems, huh? I can walk, huh? I can talk, huh? I'm going to walk the walk, huh? I'm going to talk the talk, huh? Because I know, huh? He's with me right now, huh? Does anybody here know he's with you right now? If you know he's with you, huh? Say, Lord, I thank you for being with me right now, huh? Say, Lord, go over to the hospital and be with Brother Smith right now, huh? Say, Lord, go over to the nursing homes, huh? And be with the elderly right now, huh? Say, Lord, go into the communities, huh? And be with the young folk right now. God huh, is still in control, huh? You might leave huh, right now, huh? But somebody else, huh? My joy, huh? My joy, huh? Will come huh, in the morning, huh? Does anybody want joy right now, huh? Keep on getting huh? good work, huh? Does anybody want peace right now, huh? Keep on giving, huh? Some good works right now, huh? If you're gonna give it, huh? Just shout, huh? Just shout out loud, huh? I'm gonna give it. Come on, y'all can do it better than that. Say, I'm gonna give it. Come on, say, I'm gonna give it. Come on, I want you to get fired up right now, huh? Say, I'm gonna do it for the Lord, huh? Cause he's done it for me, huh? I want you glad he's still doing it right now. Huh? Keep on living, keep on trusting, keep on having faith. Huh? Do good works. Huh? It's works for me. It works for you. It's work. 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 It's If you got problems today, turn that over to God and let Him work on it right now. Is anybody going to turn it over to Him right now? It works for you. It works for you. Amen. Amen. Go 